two, three, go. Hi everybody, we're gonna open the finally test black Spider-Man suit. We just got it in the mail, got this for my dad, buddy, and he's my friend. But he's kindly back on the YouTube and let's open it. <laughs> Alright, so here's Black Suit Spider-Man out of the packaging. Um, very impressed with these figures. The detailing and articulation on them are great. They're just as good as the 12 inch or the 6 inch figures, if not better, more articulation. I was able to get this at Target because I bought some pants and they didn't fit right or something. So I took them back and I was 40 bucks credit and I just spent the rest on this, uh, getting this Spider-Man. So super excited to have him. I know I'm late to the game, late to the review. But I just thought I'd do it while I open him. Uh, I like the black. It has a kind of a blue shine to it, which is really cool. You can really see it in his upper thighs and inside the grooves of his abs and chest and uh, biceps and triceps. That's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, but let's go ahead and zoom in and get a tighter, sh tighter shot. Alright, so let's take a look at his accessories and then we'll get into the figure. Um, so he comes with five accessories. Um, two flipping hands. Flipping. Flip whipping hands, uh, one wall climbing hand, the detail on the palm and everything like that is really cool. Uh, has the white print with the black mark right there where his webs come out. I uh, kind of don't see why they'd give him this hand because he shoots with his uh, closed knuckles like that rather than so we got two pairs of that and then we also got the knuckles, the closed fists that come that are on the figure right now. And we also got the unmasked Peter Parker head with the symbiote lying on the sides of it, which is really cool. And I'll get a closer look at that a little later. Alright, let's take a look at the figure. So I don't think there's much to be said about the figure. It's uh, very comic accurate, which is just a simple black with the, black, with the uh, white tarantula on top. And the suit just goes black all the way down and it has that blue shine through it. And I love the fact that it has that toe articulation. So the articulation on these guys is great. You can see the thigh, the thigh joint right there, the double jointed knees, the upper thigh joint. Uh, no swivel right there, but the fact that it could bend right here, and then we got that swivel up there, makes for a lot of articulation. Uh, we got the double jointed elbows, uh, the upper arm swivel, and the butterfly joints, and then the head is on a ball peg. So, I mean, it's the full package, as far as articulation goes. And as far as the costume goes, it's comic accurate. I mean, there's no way they could have messed this up, so, yeah. And the shape of the eye looks really good. Um, not disappointed in that at all. The, this head looks better than the original Spider-Man. And here's a look at the Peter Parker head with the symbiote crawling up his face. Uh, the detail in his face is really good. The ears, is, the ears came out good. Uh, the shape of his hair is really cool. His eyes came out good. Uh, the symbiote crawling up his face above his eyebrows is really cool right there. Really, really happy with this figure. The hair looks so good in the reflection. So that's a very cool head. And here's a quick size comparison with the original 12-inch uh, Spider-Man. Um, not much difference, uh, it's pretty much just a repaint, uh, but I do like the Black Suit Spider-Man's head sculpt more than the original uh, Spider-Man. I actually keep the Peter Parker head on the Spider-Man. I just like that look a lot better. And here he is next to the 12 inch Captain America, and I do wish that the Peter Parker Spider-Man was a little bit shorter than Cap. Uh, that would seem more accurate, but that's fine. Uh, this seems to be like the ultimate modern Captain America, and I like that cap a lot, so I'm happy with the way these two look side by side. And, oh. 
And just for fun, here he is next to the 14-inch Hulk. Um, I did already have him open, so why not do a quick size comparison? Um, and I do like the fact that he's a whole foot and a half taller than me. So that's going to really be it for this Black Suit Spider-Man. Um, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. The articulation is great. Uh, the costume design is on point with the comic books. The face came out awesome. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, leave a like, and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want me to review next. Um, stay tuned because I am going to review the Thor, and I do have the 14-inch Hulk to review.